Hello and welcome to another tutorial by the Blender Animations. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use fluids in Blender. So first things first, you're going to need two boxes. Okay. So the way the fluids work in Blender is you'll have one box, which will be the domain, which um, it sets a border for where the water will be. And then your second box, so we're just going to duplicate this and make it a little bit smaller. So your second box here, this is going to be your actual water. Okay, so you can have this set up however you want. You can have your domain really big and not much water. You can have it like full of water and just have something dropping into it. It's up to you, it's up to the effect that you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so to get to the water area, you're going to go to object area, then this area here, then you can see fluid on the right hand side. It's important that you always select the domain first. Click fluid and then domain. And then you can select your water. Click fluid and fluid. Now you'll select your domain and click bake. And this will create water of this middle box. And it will, it will just move that to where the physics of actual water would go within the domain of this box. Okay. So you'll see up the top here it says baking fluids. Um, so at frame 50 of 250. So you'll see that um, the water is restricted by the size of the domain. Um, this can often get in the way if you're not want wanting the water to be stuck in a box. Um, this you can prevent by using this obstacle button here. So um, you can have a huge domain, but just have a smaller domain set with obstacles. Okay. Um, so going on to obstacles, just why this bakes, um, you would use the same process as before, setting the domain first, then the fluid, then the obstacle. And you can move the obstacle along the timeline and have it moving through the water and the physics will pick up that that is an obstacle against the water so then the water will be affected by it um, it's important that you always select bake because this it plans out what the water is going to do and then from here you can insert a character you can have it moving into the water okay, I'm, just, I'm just for the sake of time I'm just going to stop baking at the moment with the escape and we'll just see what it's done with Alt A. See that the water falls and it splashes up. You can see that it is stuck within the restraints of the outer cube. Okay, now see how the water doesn't look that great. You can see each individual face. Like there, it doesn't look that great. So you're going to go to this editing tab and click set smooth. That'll create um that'll make it look a lot more like water. And we're just going to go into object, make it look a little bit watery. I'm just going to change the transparency in the IOR. have a look at this. Yeah, that's looking like pretty good water. Just change the background color to white. Okay, so you're going to notice that this box that you set to be the fluid is going to appear in your fluid animation. Your domain is going to disappear and become the size of your uh, water box. So you're just going to want to move this box out of the camera's view. And then your water will still flow as it should. Just have another um, render of that. Let's see, that's pretty good looking water. Okay, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Uh, I'll put up another tutorial showing how you can make an object interact with water. So stick around for that. I hope you have a good day.